How's it going, everybody? This is Mike, Mr. Tiny Timmons, and I'm back again with a new episode of Multi-Section Monday, where on Mondays, I showcase a particular multi-section home that we have available right here at Recreational Resort Cottages. And this Monday, I'm bringing to you the Purple Heart. I am back again with a all new episode of Multi-Section Monday and I've done it again. I'm bringing to you a all new, never before seen floor plan. This is from our Genesis series right here at Recreational Resort Cottages where we are doing military honors and naming each home as such, starting with the Purple Heart. If you're currently in the market for a three bedroom, two bath, 1400 square foot home, then look no further than what I'm going to showcase today. This particular model is 26 feet wide, it's 63 feet long, including an eight foot side porch that I will showcase momentarily. And this home is on sale today for 185 k 185,000 gets you everything you see today besides furniture and decorations. Now keep in mind, you know the prices of building materials are rising. So that 185 is today. I can't tell you what this home's gonna be a month from now, a year from now, but as of this moment, it's 185,000 for everything I'm gonna showcase. And as I was doing the introduction, you could see on the outside that this home has a special feature. It has a six foot covered entrance, but then it also has a second exterior door. Now follow me this way and I'll showcase why we have that. So you'll see right here, this is your primary door, which is coming from the front entrance, but we have a laundry area right here that fits a side-by-side -side washer and dryer. We have additional cabinetry as well as the ride up top. We have countertop space here where, of course, if you've got your detergents, your fabric softeners, things like that, you can put those there. And you can see right here we have the second exterior door I was just discussing. So what this is for is we're giving you the option. Once the home is delivered to your property, you can add a carport or a built on garage to this home. So that's great. So if you're driving in, hey, it's pouring down rain, you pull right to your garage, come into this side door, and here you are, voila, in the Purple Heart. Now, if you choose not to do that, no worries. You still have your primary entrance there, which is covered, so keeps you out of the elements as well. But this is something where we're giving you the options here at Recreational Resort Cottages that you can choose how you want your home to be after it's delivered to your property. And as you come through, you'll see that we have the first linen closet here. This is great, we got three shelves in there. So as you know, any storage you can get is, is better. So we come through here and we'll take it to the first of three bedrooms. This is going to be the first guest room. And as you make your way in, you can see, of course, as always, we're putting a window in here to bring in some natural light. We have the ceiling fan centered there with a nickel finish and black blades. We've put carpets in the bedrooms. We have the rest of the flooring linoleum throughout, but right here in the bedrooms, we're going to have the carpet. This particular size, I would recommend a queen size bed, so that way you have enough space for additional furniture, shall you choose to. But then right here, we have the closet as well. So we have hanging space up top, additional storage down below. And then follow me out and we will take it into the centralized guest bathroom. What's great is it's right here between the two rooms. So it's easy access for both uh, parties on each room. But right here you can see we have storage down below. We have the linen cabinet with adjustable shelving right above your toilet. And something that we tend to do a lot here at Recreational Resort Cottages, if you're subscribed, like you should be, you know we do the tub shower combos because that works great for people of all ages. You can take the bath, you can take the showers, whatever you need, whatever you like, make sure you can get it right, right here in this bed bathroom. So right here you have the transom window up above, again bringing in that natural light. Now follow me to bedroom two and you'll see what we have down here. So as we come in, same setup here. We have the open bedroom, another window off the back, ceiling fan centralized there for you, but then this closet area here. So as you can see, additional, same setup here, uh, rod and shelf for your clothes as well as storage down low. Now follow me back through the house 
and you'll see here as you come through, keep in mind, take in some of these features. All this is half inch sheet rock, two by four, 16 inches on center. You've got crown molding going throughout. Your vents are in the ceiling. So take in all that while I'm showcasing this home. And also, as you come into the living room, you can see it boasts this huge tray ceiling, four can lights, centralized ceiling fan right there for you, but then also this array of windows right up front on the front wall. So you've got four windows down low. We've matched with four transoms up top. So whether you have the blinds open or closed, you're bringing in that natural light into this home. You also have the space, as you can see here, for a full-size couch, chair, you know, some a dining table, side table, whatever you need. But what I love about it is the flow of the home because we give you even more space on this side. You can see you can throw in a couple more chairs if you like. And as you know, a lot of times we'll do built-ins in these homes where we do built-in entertainment centers, things like that. We chose not to do that in the Purple Heart. Reason being, you got enough space right here. You could bring in whatever size entertainment center, console, whatever you would like in this home if you would like to. Now keep in mind, if you don't want to do that, you've got it prepped already right here for a TV jack and outlet so you can mount your TV there on the wall, keep it super sleek, modern if you wanted to do that. So we're giving you the options again. Keep in mind, you're putting a scenario here together, you understand in this model we're giving you options so that way you can choose how you'd like your home to be. Then as we get to the main area, it flows from the living area into the kitchen, which is separated by an elevated bar. What's great about that is if you want to get a quick bite to eat, you've got a you know abundance of family over, then hey, you've got space right here that you can throw two or three stools under there and still have a serving space, which is great because it has the two drop down pendant lights up above, bringing in some more light, but then it drops down to the main level here where you've got your two basin stainless steel sink. We have the stainless steel dishwasher, all this prep space here for you. You have additional cabinets down below, cabinets up top. We kept it going with the stainless steel appliances, smooth top, stainless steel microwave, and additional cabinetry up top and down below. You can see here in the center, we kept those pendant lights going where we threw two more in here for you, as well as a long, slim island with great storage space as well. So you've got five drawers, five cabinets. So this home is giving you no lack of storage space in this particular model. So as you come on down, you'll see we have the side-by-side -side refrigerator, ice in the door, and again, more storage. We have the three-door built-in pantry right here for your uh, canned goods, your snacks, and things like that as well. What I love about this is not only do you have the elevated bar area, you have the island, you also have the designated area for the dining uh, room right here. You can do breakfast nook, whatever you want to call it, you've got it right here off the side of the kitchen. So you got enough space for the table. Again, we threw in another ceiling fan, and also we have additional windows up front on the front wall as well. And if those windows weren't enough, had to throw in a 72 inch sliding glass door, which leads right out onto your eight foot side porch. So as you come out onto the porch, you can see you've got enough space here for chairs, lounging. You can do a swing, a porch swing if you wanted. We've also got it wired and braced already for a ceiling fan on each end of the home. And it doesn't stop there. Look at all these plugs we got. We've got exterior electrical outlets. We have three down low across the whole front of the home, but then also went ahead and threw in a TV jack and outlet right here. So yes, you can put a TV outside of this home underneath your covered eight foot porch. So this is great for entertaining. Your rails are gonna be rebar right here as well. And it just gives you ample space where you can sit out here, relax with the family, entertain. This will be a great home for entertaining. Now, as you follow me back through, you can see that it comes right through this sliding glass door and then you can see how much space you got to walk around this home and great option as well is that these bedrooms are split so you have the two guest rooms off one end of the home and of course the parents need their privacy so you come right over here and you've got some extra space in here for your primary bedroom so you can see right here for the parents the adults You've got enough space here for a king size bed if you choose to. We have it placed perfectly between these two windows on each side and the two transoms up above. We also have an additional window right here, which looks out onto your eight foot side porch. So that way you can 
see what's going on out there if you need to, but you've got that there as well. Now keep in mind, again, like I said, ceiling fan centered. All of our vents are in the ceiling here at Recreational Resort Cottages. We don't do that vents in the floor. Bull crap. We don't mess with that, but we're making it look good front to back and side to side. So follow me right through here and I'll show you the master bathroom. We have, of course, the dual vanities right here, the sinks, as well as the storage down below. We have the wood trimmed mirror, which leads right through here into your walk-in tile shower. You can see right here, this is literally, a lot of people say walk-in, looks like I'm walk-in through this. I'm telling you, you've got enough space right here. Also, the rain shower head. Again, I tell you all the time, if you're subscribed like you should be, what's my height? I heard you, six foot one. So you got enough space right here. I'm six one, you can see how much space we have. If we needed to have it raised, because you got Paul Bunyan laying in the bed next to you at night, he's you know, a little taller than me, then we can raise this for you to accommodate everyone. We also have the splash glass right here to prevent any splish splash in the, in the bath. We've got that taken care of. We kept the tile vintage lace with the tan grout, looks lovely. And as you follow me through here, we have the walk-in closet. So of course, we need some extra space, so we put in the double shelf with rods in here. Makes it great for all your storage all the way around. We even have the false wall here blending in, which actually has your water heater behind this. It is an electric water heater, 40 gallon. You can upgrade to 50, or you can go tankless propane. Those are your options, but that's where we have it hidden in the Purple Heart. As you follow me on out, again, more storage. We have a linen up above the toilet here, which is on adjustable shelves. And if you've seen one toilet, you've seen them all. So we got that covered there. And then as you follow me back through, you can see how this floor plan opens up. Keep in mind, we got the TV jack on the front wall here. So you can put a large 75, 85, 95 inch TV on there if you want to. So we took care of that for you also. And as you follow me through, you can see how it opens up into the kitchen area. And again, more storage, guys. I didn't even show you this side earlier in the kitchen, but look at all this ample storage space. You've got cabinets. You've got deep drawers right here for you. You can put all your pots and pans in there. We also have another pantry. We have a six door pantry here. So not only do you get a pantry on the other side, you get a pantry on this side. So that's a total of nine pantry doors in here for you. And as it follows on along, you can see that it continues down here. We got three more cabinets, three more drawers, and three more cabinets up top. This is a great space if you need to sit down, you know, get on the computer, whatever you need to do, you have enough space. We're giving it to you here. We're trying to utilize this rather than having just an open wall. So we got that in there for you. So I hope that's something that you will enjoy. And as you make your way back through, you can see again how light and airy this particular model is right here in the Purple Heart. If you kept up with me thus far, you know that this home is three bedroom, two bath. It is 26 wide by 63 feet long, including that eight foot side porch that I showcase. And it's on sale again for 185 k 185,000 for the Purple Heart today. So I'm telling you guys, this is a model you want to pay attention to and you want to call me about if you're currently in the market and you don't need a huge 2,500 square foot home, but you also, you know my name is Mr. Tiny, but you necessarily don't need a tiny house. You need something in between. So 1,400 square feet, enough to check all the boxes give you the space that you need but also not being you know an area that you've you know it's it's, it's a lot sometimes to clean some of these large houses so i'm trying to look out for y'all as well and find something in the mid-size range so if you like this video you know what to do leave a like please hit that like button also hit that notification bell that helps me where that way you're notified every week of the videos that i showcase whether they're 399 square foot tiny homes all the way up to the 2,500 square foot multi-section. So keep in mind, this uh, home today is the Purple Heart. And if you enjoyed it, please leave a comment as well. Let me know what your favorite feature of the home was. Did you like the option of having a carport or a garage added to the home? Did you like the eight foot side porch? Did you enjoy all the cabinetry that you got in the kitchen? You just let me know so that way I understand what works for you guys and what you want me to bring more of. So I definitely would appreciate that and would appreciate if you subscribe, if you haven't already. If you subscribe like you should be, then you're part of the family and I appreciate you. Also, if you wanna contact me right now about the Purple Heart, you know what to do. Run on over to Instagram at the Mr. Tiny, at T-H-E, 
M-R-T-I-N-Y. And you can connect with I anytime. I'm selling the Purple Heart as well as hundreds of other poor plans directly off of Instagram. So you can contact me day or night and I'll make sure that price is right. And I appreciate you guys for tuning in to another episode of Multi-Section Monday. And I'm Mike, Mr. Tony Timmons, and I'll see you next Multi-Section Monday.